Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and take care. The movie starts with a spaceship crashing into Soul City, and we see a man coming out of it before the scene changes. A man named Man Gill is making his wife so he breakfast. They appear to be a really sweet couple. When both of them are having breakfast, his wife says to him that he has been doing a lot of overtime lately, she then goes on to ask if he is really doing overtime, or if there is something else that he has not been telling her. When Kim gets offended at it, so he, who loves him dearly, tells him that she was just messing around with him. She then goes out, as it is her classroom reunion. Everyone at the party is really excited to be there, as they have been waiting for the last three years for this party. Yang's son, a girl who always likes coming after everyone is already there at a party, makes quite an entrance as she goes tumbling down the stairs. We then learn that she used to be an idol drama, despite the fact that she only had three lines in that drama, she acts like it would have been nothing if it were not for her. As they go on to chat, so he tells them that she has married a really handsome man, who loves her above everything, and she loves the fact that he is intelligent. After learning about these attributes of her husband, Yang's son tells her, that her husband must have cheated on her since he is that attractive. So he gets really upset as she hears this. Her mood is completely ruined, as she keeps thinking that her former classmate could be right. When she comes home, she right away opens her computer, and searches what are the evidence and signs that her partner is cheating on her. She finds out that if your man has been claiming that he has been doing overtime, and on top of that if he gives you extra attention when he is around, that means he is guilty, and he must be cheating on you. So he decides that she is not just going to sit back and watch as she gets betrayed, so she goes on to hire a detective to investigate her husband. She goes to a famous detective named Jang, who has made a name for himself, and is very professional in his approach. We see a number of diplomas on his office wall, and he seems to be very skilled. Jang decides to help her right away, and starts following Man Gil. He goes on to observe everything Man Gil does in his daily routine. The man leaves the house at 5.30 in the morning, at 6, he is at the golf club, and hits the ball out of the park in a single shot. He then has breakfast at 9 in his office. The detective also observes that Man Gil is a bit of a drinker. In the evening, he drives to a nightclub. After the club, he takes a young girl to a hotel near the club. After that, he hits the gym, where he successfully seduces a beautiful girl. The two go to the River Han and have sex. He is surely not a human being, as the man drinks two liters of gasoline at a gas station. The next day, at one, he goes to a bar and hooks up with another girl. This is turning out to be a very peculiar man, and a playboy as well, as the detective gets to know that he already had three ex-wives when he married Sohee. He tells everything to Sohee, and she decides that she is going to kill the man with a knife. She gets ready to do that, but does not find the courage to go through with it. She then goes to see one of her classmates named Sarah, who is now a butcher, and is nicknamed Blood Hand Saluter. There is a story about her, that says that she made dumplings of her husband's meat because he cheated on her. We also learn that the woman has not one, but four ex-husbands. So he however, still thinks that her life is way more shitty than Sarah's life. Sarah gives her a piece of advice, saying that if your husband is being unfaithful, he will always be nicer to you, so, it is really not that bad if you think about it. The next day, so he goes to the detective again. The detective gives her a book, and tells her that her husband is beyond the scope of carbon-based life. After that, we see Man Gill at his house, but so he is not home at that time. He mixes something in the water in the pitcher. In the next scene, a meeting is being held, where a lot of scientists have come to attend to discuss aliens. From all the weird things we have gotten to know about Man Gill so far, it seems apparent that he is an alien. The scientists say that the main purpose of these aliens, is to inject their virus into other people. So he goes to the gas station with the detective, as he wants to show her something. There, she sees her husband drinking gasoline. When so he gets home that night, she drinks whatever her husband had mixed into water. As she does that, she dies right away. When he takes her to the hospital, Kim pretends to be heartbroken, but much to his dismay, his wife comes back from the dead. He then goes to a shop, where he picks up the deadliest poison to kill his wife. On the other hand, the detective and wife of Man Gill are planning on killing him. They set up a high voltage wire in the bathtub. They then go on to rehearse, how so he is going to carry out the plan when he gets home. After that, Yang's son appears there with a gun, as she gets the message that her husband is at Sohee's house. The detective turns out to be her husband. Yang's son then goes to the bathroom, but she finds Sarah there, she gets scared and gets out of there. Yang's son is in need of a cigarette, her lighter does not work so she tries to light it with an electrical lighter, as she pushes the button, her husband, who has been sitting in the wired bathtub, 
gets a huge electric shot and dies. As they take care of the body, Man Gill arrives, and so he lures him into the bathtub right away, where they try to give him a shock, but it does not work for him at all. They then try killing him with poison wine, but it comes back to bite them in the back, as Man Gill likes it, and asks the girls to have a drink with him as well. In the meantime, the detective wakes up in the closed care machine. Man Gill opens the machine and finds the detective in there, and asks what he is doing in their house. As Jang opens his eyes and passes out again, Sarah comes forward to check on him, and declares him dead. They decide that if they want to save themselves, they will have to take proper care of the corpse, so alien friends of Man Gill arrive to help them with that. They go out to a distant place to dig a grave for the detective, where so he knocks her husband out with a shovel. They then go on to bury him with the detective. Just as they are about to go away after burying both men, a head comes out of the grave, and Man Gill asks what is going on, the women get scared and haul ass. As they drive away, Man Gill runs so fast that he catches up with them, and asks Sohi to stop the car. The car however crashes, and Man Gill, who was on the top of its roof, falls off a cliff, the girls hope that he must be dead now. The women then go home and find the dead bodies of friends of Man Gill. It turns out that they drank the poisoned wine and died. Now, they have to bury three more bodies. To their bad luck, they get stopped by the police, and when asked about the men in the back seat, they tell the police that they are just drunk. The police take them to the police station, and say that they want to talk to the aliens, the girls try to keep them away from them, but when they go out, it turns out that the aliens are alive. Much to their dismay, the police brought in a man who turns out to be the detective. Man Gill also arrives, and the police get to know that they know each other. All of them then drive back in the same car, and the situation is really awkward for everyone. One of them says that they all understand what is going on, so they can stop pretending, that everything that has been going on is just normal. All of them start fighting in the car again and it crashes. Their car literally flies off the cliff, and as it lands, it rolls down a steep path. The women manage to get out before the men and everyone starts to leave. Man Gill wakes up with a knife in his head, but he is still not hurt and moves like a normal healthy person. He takes out the knife from his head. The women then try to hide in a factory, but they cannot outrun Man Gill, who now wants to finish them all. However, a voice comes from the outside, asking Man Gill to come out and fight. We then see that the special forces are already there, they are the ones tasked with catching the aliens roaming the earth. Man Gill is no coward, he goes out, they shoot him with a tranquilizer, but it has no effect on him. Their leader then asks them to just catch him, and a fight erupts. They try to tackle Man Gill, but he ends up overpowering a bunch of men. We then see that their leader is not an ordinary man either, with the help of their leader, they successfully capture Man Gill, who again finds his courage, he throws everyone away, and now, there are just aliens left. Man Gill and the leader of the corporation now fight one on one. The fight goes on, and they beat each other in a brutal manner. The three women see that Detective Jang has been caught by the special forces, that came to capture Man Gill. On the other hand, the leader of the force shoots Man Gill with a super toxin. This is the only thing that successfully stops him, as he falls to the ground right away. One year later, the three women take control of the company of Man Gill, and start to enjoy their lives. We see Sohi going to the gas station, and drinking gasoline. It turns out, she is also an alien. The End Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out.